All righty. Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to Circling Shadow Sports. We have another game reaction. Finally good to be doing one of these again. I don't remember the last one that we did, truthfully. Um, as the Kraken are red hot. They are just around the same time of the year. Last year, they had the eight-game win streak going. They tie that mark. Uh, this time around, it's an eight-game win streak, a 12-game point streak. Both of those are franchise best. Obviously, the win streak is tied for the best in franchise history, but they keep things going. They get that win with a 4-1 to victory over the Washington Capitals uh, at the Capital One Arena, the second game of a six-game road trip. Kind of similar to last game against Buffalo. Seattle didn't look hot to start the game. Joey Decord had to bail them out uh, on a few different occasions early on as Washington looked like the aggressive team. They were really pushing the pace, uh, but Joey Decord is able to do excellent uh, in between the pipes, keep this game scoreless. Kraken are able to get uh, this game going on the other side of things uh, with two goals uh, heading into the first intermission. Let me get that back here. Uh, but yeah, it did, really didn't look very good early on. I was a bit worried because um, it did seem like the Kraken were going to struggle um, just with this Capitals team that, you know, it didn't have the greatest start either. In their own defense, uh, but Ty Cartier, the Cartier Partier, gets things started um, in Washington. So the the Cartier Partier uh, landed in the nation's capital, is what I said, with a really nice shot. Uh, his seventh goal of the season gets things going. Alex Wenberg is able to get through the neutral the, uh, the neutral zone thanks to a play started by Brandon Tanev. And he has back-to-back -back games with goals, uh, which is nice to see um, for Alex Wenberg. So they go into the intermission with that uh, two-goal lead. You feel strong about it. Five minutes and 47 seconds into the second period, though, Max Pacioretty, who, you know, he really had a tough year last year. He scored his first goal as a capital. Uh, on a, It was really a nice play by Washington. Um, they're able to get... Uh, an odd man rush sent to Seattle. Um, Petretti was open on the other side of the ice. Cross ice pass by the Capitals. Finds him. They cut the lead in half. So they think, uh-oh, you know, the two-goal lead thing. Do we need to worry about that? <laughs> Justin Schultz late into that second period scores a goal. Uh, on a, and it cleans up kind of the rebound uh, after getting a really nice, delicate pass from Ellie Tolvanen going towards the net. Um, and he's able to score against his former team. So he puts the lead back up, and then uh, Adam Larson puts the finishing touches on this one, as I'll show you our photo of the game here, um, just so you can see it, um, as he <laughs> shows off some great, great hands uh, in a nice sort of one-on-one -on -one situation with Darcy Kemper. Uh, scores his third goal of the year. It's his second multi-point game of the year and puts the final exclamation point on this win for Seattle. Uh, Larson is our player of the game. Uh, really nice to see him. He made a couple plays, uh, one in particular in the third period, where it looked like Washington was going to get an odd man rush opportunity, uh, and he's able to knock a pass um, before it's able to get into a more dangerous situation. So that was really great to see. Uh, nice to see Adam Larson score always. The big cat on the prowl, of course. Uh, with his stat line there. Joey Decor, we talked about him a little bit. Excellent game. I didn't know it was referred as this uh, in hockey. I'm used to in soccer when you call it a scorpion kick. But Decor was laid on his chest, and he put his right leg back up uh, in this first period when the Kraken were getting pushed back by Washington. Uh, made a scorpion uh, save, so that was really cool to see. Uh, he just continues to play really well. Over the last seven games that he's played, he's seven O and O uh, with a 114 GAA and a 966 save percentage. I think in every one of those games, his save percentage has been higher than 940, which is just ridiculous. He really should be an all star. And I think it's ridiculous that uh, by the votes, um, he isn't right now. And even I think I'll, I'll get this one up. The NHL posted something about it, um, about Joey. And I'm like, well, he uh, since December 12th, Joey is 9 0 and 2 with two shutouts. <laughs> it's just, it's ridiculous. Uh, he's playing out of his mind right now. He's really helped the Kraken during the stretch, like I said in the beginning. With the Buffalo game and this game starting out really slow, Joey's been up to the task for it. So really great there. 
we would have the Davy Jones hat, who that player was that got that, but I'm not, I don't think the Kraken have posted that yet. And no, they haven't posted that yet. So don't have that for yet. And by the time of this recording, as we're just about a half hour or so after the game, um, other player stats, there's a few different numbers that happened throughout the course of this game. Uh, Ellie Tolvanen's on that streak, as you can see on your screen, talked about Joey a little bit. Um, let's see. Well, other news, uh, other stats during the eight game win streak, the Kraken have had 16 different players score and haven't allowed more than two goals in any of those games during this streak. Um, <laughs> let's see. Jaden Schwartz now has 16 points, four goals, 12 assists, uh, and 16 career games against Washington. He has 13 points, six goals, and seven assists in his last 12 road games, which is nice. Uh, with his primary assist on Justin Schultz's second period goal, Ellie Tolvanen now has a four-game point streak. It's his second four-game point streak of the season. Uh, Tolvi now has assists in four consecutive games for the first time in his career. Um and during his current point streak, Tolvanen has six points, one goal, and five assists. Um, let's see if there's anything else here that's of note. I don't believe so. Nope. Uh, that was the Kraken's first win in Washington. Uh, they take a 3-2 head-to-head record uh, advantage at this point um, in the season against the Capitals, 3-2. So that was nice to get their first win in Washington. And special teams, there wasn't a lot going on. Um, there's only four total penalty minutes in this game. Not a lot going on in this one. Uh, Washington did all right with their lone power play, certainly better than Seattle, and I'll get to that in a second. Six shot attempts, three on goal, point two shot quality for Washington. The Kraken didn't have any shot attempts uh, in their lone power play, so that could have been better. You could have liked to see some improvement there, but you know it's hard to judge uh, the power play when it's just one. So not a lot going on in that regard. In terms of general stats, you can kind of see here in the basic ones on your screen, um, decently even game, honestly. I mean, even in the more advanced stats, like the shot quality uh, for this game uh, was tied in terms of expected goals for uh, two to one for each team. Um, Seattle just had, you know, in terms of five on five, the puck in the ozone, more, more high danger chances, uh, less turnover chances uh, than Washington by three times as much, actually more shot attempts um, defensively Seattle, better at entry denial percentage, better in zone exit percentage, uh, totally even in this game and puck battle win percentage. Um, so just, uh, yeah, Darcy Kemper, not the best game for Darcy Kemper, uh, negative 1.9 goals saved, uh, expected. So not great. Joey Decord on the other hand, um, per money puck, 2.35 goals saved above expected. So not the best game for Darcy Kemper, who's certainly a pretty solid goaltender in the NHL. Uh, Seattle gets the best of him tonight. Um, so Really nice to see that. Looking ahead, the Kraken do continue this six-game road trip. Obviously, this will be the midway point. This is the third um, game of this six-game streak and the 41st game of the season. So we're going to be right at the midway point after this game in Columbus against the Blue Jackets. We'll try to look here. I don't think they're playing tonight. Um, Columbus does have talent. Uh, they do have some talent. They've struggled over the last few years. You know, that's undeniable. Um Let's see. Columbus is currently yeah, bottom of the Metropolitan Division, uh, 13, 20, and 9 record. I don't think they're playing right now, uh, but we will double check that, of course. Mm -mm -mm. Nope, they're not playing right now. Um, and we'll see their recent game streak. But obviously, in terms of Seattle, they'll be looking to continue to keep things moving. They do, they are within three points right now um, of the top three a top three spot in the Pacific division, which is crazy to think about considering where this team was and how bad they had been. Uh, you know, this turnover has been huge turnaround part. Pardon me. Um, it's pretty similar to what we saw from this team at this same time last season. Uh, I don't know what it is about the Kraken and being able to turn things around. Oops. I opened into a QuickBooks because it was an ad. Wonderful. Um, I apologize. I'm just trying to find the streak that Columbus is on right now, if they're on any sort of streak. Um, hmm. I'm not seeing it here. There it is. Okay. Columbus. We'll look here. Yeah, eighth in the Pacific Division. Uh, they lost four of the last five. One, two of the last six. 
three, four, seven. They've won a, a lost seven of the last nine. So, yeah, there's that. Uh, it'll be interesting to see who's in net. Tarasov has gotten the last three starts for Columbus, um, and they will have a four-game break before they play Washington, a uh, four-day off break. So that's nice, I guess. Um, but, yeah, obviously looking for Seattle to continue the point streak, the win streak, continue to climb, you know, the, there are a few teams that they need to kind of fall off, you know, wondering when Nashville might fall off, when Edmonton will knock things off. Los Angeles, uh, the Kings are really struggling right now. So it'll be interesting to see, you know, the scoreboard watching is kind of already ensuing. Uh, so just all you need from the Kraken standpoint, continue to do your job, handle your own business. And hopefully uh, by the time that we start to get to the end of the year and when these things matter um, and when playoffs are getting clinched, you like will have done your own thing. And you don't need a bunch of scenarios to play out for you. So with that being said, thanks for tuning in again, like I said, early in the season, trying to do these more often. Uh, but till we see you next time, take care and be, uh, do whatever you can to make today a great day. I have to try to make it home safe uh, with the snow outside. So we'll see how that goes.